All right, Shalom, like you say, Allah, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekah Kadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe, underneath the standard and the banner of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, uh, hey. This uh, this prophecy of Ezekiel, the thirty-eighth chapter, will soon be a reality, man. Okay, and as uh, you see, time and time again, that the brotherhood always goes back to uh, missile talk. All right. Like my elder uh, coin, that uh, that phrase, all right, and you know, Putin, he knows about the prophecy. That's why the Lord has put that spirit on him to be that man, so to speak, of the hour, along with the dummy. Donald Trump, okay, which the Lord put a spirit on him to be uh, the hardened, hearted uh, uh, Pharaoh set to do evil, all manner of evil, okay, to get these other nations uh, bubbling over at Babylon the Great. And they they're both doing a wonderful job. Now the first the first video that I'm gonna show, okay, <coughs> through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, because he created all this. He created the the internet so that we could be better watchmen. He put the spirits and uh, certain leaders. So that we could have the prophecy come to light. Alright. So ultimately, all praise is due to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai for uh setting this whole thing in motion. Okay. He declared the end from the beginning, like the scriptures say. So the first clip I'm gonna show you is what a real leader should be, okay? And this is just this goes to show you. They go to eagle, okay. That Edom, this house of Edom, okay. The one that uh Putin's over. They ready for business, man. Начался. Есть запуск двигателя установки первой ступени. Okay, so that's what Putin's in the business of, man. You got the uh, the nuclear arms race back on. All right. And so far, Russia is leading the race, okay, with all type of new advancements, okay, with these missiles, man, all right? And when this other video that I got, let me pull that up, and that was that brother, uh, measured uh, the, time, the time diligently, this brother right here measured out the time diligently, putting that out there. He, he shows clips and then brothers you know it's up to you to look into it and find out more about it now the other video that I got is from RT All right, I'm just gonna set it back I'm gonna come back to 725 but I just want people to see right the arsenal that uh that in months spend or time 
of each other. Okay. This is this is what he's. That's the S four hundred right there. These are all the the the, the advancements. Okay. That Putin has a uh, sought to have on sale now they on sale to other countries he's given this one away the s400 abm system okay so this man he, he's he's doing what prophecy declared him to do all right creating these advancement and like i said the, the nuclear um, arms race is back in effect Look at all the missiles that he then created, and plus there's many more. It was another video that they were showing all the uh, existing missiles from from the time before he started bringing out new ones, and they have they have tons of those. So anybody that's saying in their head that uh, a third world's war won't uh, consist of nuclear missiles. When the scripture says it does, and um, what's that? I think it's Isaiah the ninth chapter, I believe. Let me try to get that. Say in nine and five, it says, "For every battle of the warriors with confused noise, and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire." Okay, what is it talking about? It's talking about this right here. Fuel of fire. Okay, because these things are propelled, like it says in Joel. In Joel. All right, let's get that. <coughs> Joel 2 and 3, a fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burning. The land is as the, as the garden of Eden, before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. And it's talking about this. You can't outrun this. <laughs> so all to all you naysayers that say that uh, we're warmongers, it's not us, man. It's the Most High. This is how the Most High gets down. He's a man of war. Okay? And when he had enough, then he'll send the host out to get you, man. Whether it be uh, his his holy army, which they're coming also to this battle in the Valley of Decision. Okay? Armageddon. Or be it... Uh, uh, a host of troops that he puts the spirit on or commands to move on you for his uh for his his uh not his pleasure but like it says in the scripture he ruleth in the kingdom of men not men men don't rule nothing the most high lets you rule in 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 the kingdom of men okay that's just the way it is it doesn't change, man. He doesn't change. So for Putin to be creating all these different type of missiles, and this is the the one that we just seen shoot off, the Avangard, and I'm gonna let them talk about it a little bit. But uh, <coughs> hey, it's beautiful, man. And this is this is the this is it. This is this this is the silent killer right here. All right, I'm gonna let them explain it a little. 
uh, U.S.'s success in this sphere and U.S.'s development of uh, their uh, anti-missile and missile um, defenses. Uh, so it's all about Russia's security as far as we can understand from what Vladimir Putin said. Just to remind you what happened, um, this uh, Boost Glide weapon was launched from the Dombarovsky missile base in the southern Ural Mountains um, and as Kremlin reported successfully hit um, a training target on the Kura shooting range on Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia's is some 6,000 kilometers away, but that's not maybe even uh, very impressive. Uh, you, you just said that uh, this uh, weapon is said to be able to circle the Earth in just 30 minutes, so 6,000 kilometers is nothing for avant-garde. But its main feature and a very important one is um, that it is said to be able to maneuver while flying, uh, while gliding, so that it can avoid anti-missile uh, defenses. Uh, uh, so uh, it is reported, and Vladimir Putin repeated it today uh, after the launch, that it cannot be intercepted by the enemy's uh, missile defenses. So it is almost uncatchable. And also we um, hear that it may carry a two megaton warhead. I to be honest, I don't quite understand uh, what exactly is this because th that sounds really huge and impressive uh, and it shows how, uh, how powerful this weapon is and also uh, we know that it can fly the atmosphere at 20 times the speed of sound, uh, again bypassing the enemy's uh, missile defenses and Putin uh, uh, himself said that it flies as a um, uh, uh, meteorite. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting uh, weapon, and we heard from uh, Russia's president that it could be, uh, it will be uh, used by Russia's strategic forces starting next year. So there you have it. The, the pieces are set, all right, for this uh, this very, very deadly encounter that we're about to embark on the Third World War. Okay, everything's lining up, man. There's not much left to this place. All right, living in Babylon the Great. All right, it's it's a it's a eerie feeling here. Okay, to people that uh that are woke, like the brothers, the brothers in in the camps across uh, Babylon the Great, man. This place is, is a hellish place, man. It's nightmarish, okay? You don't know what's going to happen, you know? When you walk out your front door in Babylon the Great, all right? So this place got to go, man. And this, this is one of the instruments right here that uh, is going to be used for the downfall of this place. And, you, you know, we read the scriptures. You know, but I'm just going to read uh, <coughs> Ezekiel 38. Uh, <coughs> I'll just read uh, the key points. Ezekiel 38 and 4, and it says, And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth in all thy thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. And, you know, these are the accompaniments of uh, Putin, so to speak. Persia, which is Iran, Ethiopia, okay, and Libya, okay. These are the these are the places that uh Putin's garden right now, Libya being one of the places, and Ethiopia, uh, uh, that's connected, okay. All of them with shields and helmet, Goma and all his bands in the house of Turgama, of the north quarters, north quarters. So when you look at uh the map over there in Syria, all right, this is why. Uh, Turgama, which is uh, 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 over there in Turkey, all right. That's why they told America to get out of that 
that north that northwest corner over there because this this right here is pointing right there to that spot and many people with them okay be thou prepared and prepare for thyself thou and all that company that are assembled unto thee and be thou a guard unto them like i said <clears throat> putin's handing out those weapons man left and right everybody's got them okay this is why america is it's getting shitted on so to speak by all these other countries man because they're not the big bad bully anymore and that that weapon is impressive man to say the least you know it's a glider it's not propelled by uh by by rocket boosters okay and putin said it himself it's just like a a, a driven meteorite falling it's going to shoot so high into the heavens and then when it's coming down they're going to be able to glide it to the to the uh precise destination of where they want it to be uh uh used at okay and it can go around the world in 30 minutes <laughs> hey this dude and this is it this is it okay let me read uh second ezra 16 chapter <coughs> i'll read it from uh one woe be on to thee babylon and asia woe be on to thee egypt and syria gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair be wild your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand a sword is sent upon you and who may turn it back okay a fire is sent among you and who may quench it plagues are sent unto you and what is he that may drive them away it's the lord okay and the number one plague that's going to be uh sin here is that missile man and nobody's going to drive that away once those things start flying man they they uh they don't turn around and come back to the to the lunch pad where they launched it from once those things are shot they head into a destination and boom that's it this is what the Lord has prepared for Babylon the Great for being the most wickedest place on the face of the earth, man. Due to who? The so-called Edomite. Not the so-called Edomite. The Edomite, the so-called white man, Salaki. And it's not hard to see anymore. It's out here in the open. Okay? And with these uh, missiles that he's going around handing out, this is what's going to happen. All the nations, okay, are going to come upon this place and blow it to smithereens, all right? Jeremiah 50 and 13, it says, Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolated. Everyone that goeth by Babylon should be astonished and hissed at all her plagues. Put yourself in array against Babylon around about, round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she hath signed against sins against the lord's lucky shout against her round about she hath given her hand her foundations are fallen her walls are thrown down for it is the vengeance of the lord take vengeance upon her as she hath done unto to her and me as she hath done do unto her salaki okay and that's that's what you're saying right now all right so yeah, and then Putin he didn't uh came up with a winner. And hey. Soon it ain't gonna do nothing it ain't gonna be nothing left but to let him fly, man. That's it. And I don't think uh I don't think you know, it, it's it's a hidden factor anymore, man. You know? Just like you seen the, the, the Edomite devil uh, talking about it, she was choking. You know why she's choking? Very interesting. Because she knows. <laughs> she knows what's about to happen, okay? She knows that that missile's going to get used. She knows that 
it's going to be a, a nuclear destruction very soon and most of the people on the face of the earth in them third world countries and 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 in places that's war torn they know all right that war is imminent okay and it's it's going to happen on the shores of america this time all right so with that i want to say call law you how about shim yawa shai about shim rakakadash hey and double honors to the elder apostles of great millstone and we almost out of here.